What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, AKA All Fires. Guys, this story is absolutely nuts. It had been a minute since we had heard about Bo DeMeo, the guy who wrote X-Men season one and supposedly wrote most of X-Men season two before he was unceremoniously and very silently fired and parted ways with Marvel Studios days before the very first season dropped. But over the last 48 hours, they have come to major blows where Bo DeMeo posted something to social media, took shots at Disney and Marvel, and then, oh man, did Marvel fire back, breaking out the big guns in an exclusive that dropped almost at midnight East Coast last night from The Hollywood Reporter. We're going to go through this article in full because it finally reveals the reason why he was terminated over at Marvel. The headline again dropped from The Hollywood Reporter super, super late last night. Quote, Marvel fires back over X-Men 97 creators claim he was, quote, stripped of season two credit, cites egregious investigation findings exclusive. Bodumeo completed his duties on season two prior to his firing in March. They go on to report, quote, five months after Marvel Studios fired X-Men 97 creator Bodumeo for mysterious reasons, the writer claimed Thursday he will no longer get credit on the second season of the hit Disney Plus show, which he completed work on before his exit. DeMeo made the claim on social media, saying it was part of a, quote, troubling pattern he endured while working for Marvel. Marvel shot back soon after in a statement to The Hollywood Reporter and gave insight into the firing, saying it occurred after an internal investigation revealed, quote, unquote, egregious findings. They then share part of Bodomeo's social media post on Thursday that started this all. This is what it said, quote, above is an X-Men fan art I posted on Instagram for gay pride in June on June 13th. Hashtag Marvel sent a letter notifying me that they stripped me of season two credits due to the post DeMeo wrote on X Thursday, along with an illustration of a shirtless version of himself as a superhero Cyclops. They go on to say, quote, DeMeo, who spent several years at Marvel working on a draft of the long gestating blade feature, as well as the TV show Moon Knight added, quote, sadly, this is the latest in a troubling pattern I suffered while working on X-Men 97 and hashtag blade. Marvel responded by saying that DeMeo's behavior was the cause of his firing and for him losing his credits. Quote, Mr. DeMeo was terminated in March 2024 following an internal investigation, said a Marvel spokesperson in an official statement. Quote, given the egregious nature of the findings, we severed ties with him immediately and he has no further affiliation with Marvel. End quote. The Hollywood Reporter then says, quote, sources say that following his exit, an agreement was reached between the two parties over the issue of tweeting about the show, something that DeMeo had continued to occasionally do. In light of the breaches, his credit for the season was removed. While no details of the cause of termination or internal reviews have surfaced, sources say it involved sexual misconduct. They then go on to say, quote, until now, DeMeo has remained mostly mum on his firing for Marvel, though in recent days, he did note that he had tried and failed to secure a seat at the Emmys from the studio. Concluded DeMeo on his initial X post on Thursday, I'll have more to say about it soon, but must take a step back from social media to find a safer place for me to be out proud and nerdy. Stay tuned. But after the initial publication of this article, he reacted to Marvel's statement, writing the truth will be revealed, and then tries to explain that there was a misleading statement by Marvel about the terminating of his credit because of the tweets. But who knows about that? And I'm sure more will come out about that later. Now, look, guys, I'm not trying to hand Disney or Marvel any W's here, especially Disney. I can't stand a lot of the things they do and behind the scenes, and it would be right up their alley to do something like this to sort of try to silence someone who they didn't necessarily agree with. On the other hand, there are things when you work in a corporate structure that you just can't do. There are things that once you do them, you will be terminated uh, on a lot of levels. And so again, even though now we have sort of statements on both sides, it doesn't mean we really know what's at the heart of the matter. Although he does now promise the truth will come out. So it doesn't sound like Bo DeMeo is going to stop talking about this in any time soon. And I know after those initial reports in the rumor mill, people were talking about him being hard to work with, etc. But when it comes down to the legalities of it and the way it all went down, we all sort of suspected it had to be something that neither of them wanted to talk about. And, you know, the sort of both agreeing to be silent on it uh, just sort of made it seem like, you know, something went down there. That was the end of the line or rather Bodomeo crossed the line from which there was no coming back. And look, Marvel Studios and Disney have shown 
If you don't play nice within the sandbox, it doesn't matter who you are. They fired Victoria Alonso, the vice president over at Marvel, although she was acting a fool. Even they told her not to go uh, do something that would have been a breach of contract working with another studio. And then even though she did it anyway to produce a project, they told her straight up, don't go show up on TV for the awards for that. Uh, and she did it anyway and they fired her. I mean, they want you to go by their rules. They want you to play within their sort of uh, view. So it actually doesn't surprise me that there would be some sort of agreement about tweets and what he could and couldn't say. And the fact that this is really even a thing just makes me roll my eyes because it's more kind of of the same behavior from Disney and Star Wars. And we've seen it actually over at Marvel Studios as well. Two actresses in the last couple of years, Letitia Wright and Evangeline Lilly, when they didn't say the things that Disney or Marvel Studios wanted them to say, when they didn't have the views that they wanted them to have, right or wrong, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when they didn't play by what Marvel wanted them to on social media, uh, they got PR training and a talking to, and it's just like, they've established this pattern now of wanting to do that, and you look, in life, sometimes you're gonna come across people who just don't wanna go by your rules, who don't wanna do that. They wanna tweet what they wanna tweet, they wanna say what they wanna say, you know, it happens. So, I think this is probably not the end of this, but I do think it's a little, you know, over the top that Bodomeo basically sent out a tweet and you know he, he didn't really he didn't he didn't really break out the big guns and then less than 48 hours later and at midnight marvel studios is issuing official statements via the hollywood reporter i mean geez but guys i mean look let me know all your thoughts down below as i was going to do this video i thought about trying to play it maybe a little more you know down the middle and and safe but i mean look we we pretty much we pretty much all agree on where Disney and Marvel are at. They've, they've definitely established their own track record at this point, and it's like, you know, I don't know. If you expect something different, I, I, I really don't know what to tell you. But look, I'm sure more about this is gonna come out because Bo DiMeo just started talking about it again, and I think even since I started doing this video, uh, there's been another reply by him on social media. So I mean, at some rate, we're gonna hear even more. Uh, like I said, maybe two or three times during this video, who knows if there's even a W uh, out there. There could be no Ws to go around on this one. It's it's you know kind of sad to hear, but also it wouldn't be surprising if Disney's just doing the Disney things. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Before I let you go, we're still giving away PlayStations here at the channel. Super simple to be entered to win. All you got to do is hit the sub button, leave a comment down below. Then, because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will always be announced at the end of videos, live with my voice and the winning comment shown on screen. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at I am Fires. You can also find me on all platforms with original music under the name All Fires, Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, etc. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.